Hello, my name is Dr. Jeff Bolini, and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about busting myths, bringing you the truth. Anyway, today I want to talk about branch chain amino acids, a little secret I learned on how to utilize them to metabolize body fat. First of all, let me define what a BCAA is, because there are so many different types on the marketplace and not all of them work. First of all, you always want it to be in a 2-1-1 ratio. That means it's two part leucine to one part valine, one part isoleucine. Do not use BCAAs that have 4-1-1, 7, 10, 1, 1, where they've elevated the leucine content. You will not get the BCAA benefits as you will from a 2-1-1. Now, the only branch chain amino acid that I endorse is my patented EFX Sports training ground. So I just wanted to lay the ground on what a BCAA is and which ones I endorse. Anyhow, so you gotta look at the body. It does not like to get rid of body fat. Even if you are in a situation where you're starting to starve, your body will actually start to burn muscle first then it will look at your fat reserve. So when muscle starts to burn, when muscle is broken down, the three amino acids that are expended are the branch chain aminos. That's leucine, isoleucine, and valine. That's why it's so important to supplement with these during training because these are the first three that you want to replenish right away. Anyhow, during uh, muscle deprivation, these three amino acids, when they are put into the bloodstream, your body senses that you are now burning muscle. Now the normal process could take several days and you could end up losing pounds of muscle in a diet. But by elevating your BCAA levels, you can trick your body to think that you are burning muscle and guess what? It will then turn to fat for energy. Now how do you accomplish this? This isn't something that you do all the time, um, you know, 24, 7, 360 days a year. It's something that I recommend during a contest time um, or if you're in a situation where you need to uh, drop some body fat because you have to use a considerable amount of amino acids and you only want to do it for a short amount of time. So here's what I'd recommend. One scoop of my EFX Sports Training Ground BCAA or any good 2-1-1 BCAA, um, you wanna take five grams per dose. So I'm gonna recommend five grams in the morning, five grams midday, five grams post-workout if you work out in the evening, and then five grams before you go to bed at night. That's 20 grams. You're only gonna do this for about two weeks. Now, it is important that you space out those BCAAs four times a day. It's not so important when you train. Um, so hopefully, you know, one of those dosings will be on a post-workout if you work out in the morning, if you work out midday, or if you work out in the evening. Uh, just mix it with some water, fruit juice, whatever you want to mix it with, uh, or a lot of the BCAAs, like the training ground, is already flavored, so uh, very palatable. Anyhow, that is my little BCAA trick. If you haven't tried it, tried it, it try it. It's pretty amazing. Um, I like to do for contest, you know, I will kick this in about actually the last four weeks. Um, I will run that about three weeks instead of a two week program. But again, you can kind of experiment because using 20 grams a day uh, is pretty expensive. So again, you wouldn't want to do that all the time. And um, you don't need to do it for a very long period of time. Try it for about two weeks, maybe three weeks. Anyhow, let me know if that works for you. And if you'd like some samples of some BCAA, send me an email. I'd love to get some out for you to try. Anyway, take care and I will catch you next time.